Hey guys, Brad from SimpleGuitar.com here, and today we're gonna go over how to do legato as a beginner. How to practice your hammer-ons and pull-offs and ways that you can strengthen your fingers so that when it comes time to use a hammer-on or a pull-off, you're comfortable with it, your fingers are strong, and it sounds smooth and awesome. So today I've got five exercises for you that any beginner can use to really build up your finger strength for doing hammer-ons and pull-offs. Now, make sure that you watch all of this because number four, is probably my favorite one out of all five of these and I have a gift for you at the end of this video so make sure you watch the whole thing let's dive into exercise number one this exercise is going to use your open position E minor pentatonic scale okay so we're gonna do this horizontal shape and it's really simple because you're gonna use one finger at a time to do this and you can use this to practice all four of your fingers to start to develop your strength with each of those fingers. So that's gonna look really simply like this. You're gonna play your sixth string open, and then you're going to use your first finger to just hammer on to your third fret. Now here's the trick though, it's not about how hard you hammer on. If you hammer on too hard, you're gonna go out of tune. You're gonna get... We don't want that. You gotta go with speed. Speed is the name of the game. It's about how fast your finger gets on the string, not about how hard you hit it. I know that's like kind of hard to separate in the beginning, but I want you to have that in your mind that I have to move my finger faster, not so much that you have to hit it harder. So you're gonna play your sixth string open and hammer on to three with your first finger. And then you're gonna play your fifth string open, hammer on to your second fret. Then you're gonna play your fourth string open and hammer on to your second fret. And then you're gonna play your third string open, do the same thing, second fret. And then on your second and first string, it's back to your third fret. Now, that's just doing hammer-ons going up the scale. Now when we come back down the scale, you wanna make sure that you're doing pull off. So you're gonna pick the higher note and then pull it off. Now when you're pulling off, it's the same idea. Your finger has to get off the string quickly so that the string will continue to vibrate. But pro tip, if you slightly, very slightly pull your finger down so that your fingertip will actually pluck the string that makes your pull off way more clear because you're essentially plucking the string with this instead of picking it. So I'm gonna start with my third fret on my first string, pull off to open, third fret on my second, pull off to open, second fret on my third, second fret on fourth, second fret on my fifth, and third fret on my sixth string. Then you combine it and put it together. So you play it hammering on, going up, Now a couple things to watch out for. Don't hit your string and then try to hammer on immediately. That'll sound really goofy. To help you practice your rhythm and make sure that this is good, I want you to pull out a metronome. Now I just use this Pro Metronome app on my phone, okay? And it is available for Android and iPhone, okay? I don't care which one you use. Now to really get this down, I'm gonna set my metronome to 50 beats per minute for this. And I'm just doing quarter notes. So I'm going to pick on one click, hammer on on the next click. Pick on one click, hammer on on the next click, okay? That's gonna sound like this. Two, three, four. As you get comfortable with that, you're obviously going to start speeding it up and doing it more. But I recommend that you do this exercise with your first finger, and then you do it with your second finger, then you do it with your third finger, and then you even do it with your pinky, okay? Don't skip pinky day. It's like leg day for lifters, right? You have to 
not skip pinky day. Don't forget your pinky. The more that you work out your pinky, the better it'll be to you. For exercise number two, we're gonna stick to one string and you can do this on all six strings, but today we're going to stick to just the sixth string and I'm gonna come up and down. What I'm doing is I'm playing a linear or a vertical major scale this way. So the frets that we're gonna play are open. Then I'm gonna play the second fret, the fourth fret, the fifth fret, the seventh fret, the ninth fret, the 11th, and then the 12th fret. Those are the frets that I'm using for this one. And that makes an E major scale because that's a major scale pattern and my starting note is my open E string. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play my E string open and then I'm gonna use just my first finger and I'm gonna hammer on to each step of the scale. So I'm gonna play it open and hammer on to the second fret. Then play it open again and hammer on to the fourth fret. Then open and hammer on to the fifth. Then open and hammer on to the seventh. Then open and hammer on to the ninth. Then open and hammer on to 11. Then open and hammer on to 12. Then for pull-offs, I'm gonna do the exact same thing, but I'm gonna reverse it. I'm gonna play 12 and pull off to open. And then play 11 and pull off to open. Now here's a trick for you, pro tip. With my fretting hand, I am touching my fifth string so that I don't actually go. I'm letting either my pick hit that next string. So you can just do a rest stroke where you pick down on the sixth string and then you let your pick rest on that fifth string so it doesn't ring out at all. Or I just use my second finger and I'm just touching that string right here. And that way, I can just hear my sixth string, which is the only string I want to hear. Muting around your pull-offs will really help your playing be nice and clean. So pay attention to how you can do that using your picking hand, and that'll make your life easier. So doing the pull-offs on this, we're gonna do 12, open, 11, open, nine, Now again, do this with a metronome to make sure that your hammer-ons and pull-offs are building rhythm. Again, I'm gonna set this a little bit faster. Let's do 60 beats per minute and let's try exercise number two with 60 beats per minute, just using my first finger for now, but just like exercise one, do it with your second, your third, and your fourth finger and practice doing all that. Two, three, go. So that's exercise number two, just going up and down that major scale on one string and do it with all four fingers and do it on all six strings. Now, should you spend a, an hour practicing this? No, do this as a warm up for maybe two or three minutes. And if you do that consistently every day, you're gonna get better. So I would just set a timer on your phone for one minute and do it and be like, okay, today I'm gonna do exercise one and do it with just your first finger for one minute and then set the timer for one more minute and do it with a different finger. And then maybe you're like, oh, let's go on to exercise two. So set your timer for a minute, do it with one finger, set it for another minute, do it with another finger. You don't have to spend a ton of time at once doing this, break it up, do it consistently over time, that's going to help you a lot. Now let's go on to exercise number three. For exercise number three, we're gonna to start to combine fingers with our open string. So we're gonna use that same major scale pattern going up your E string, but we're gonna hammer on to two notes. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna play my open string, and then I'm gonna use my first finger to hammer on to the second fret, and then my third finger to hammer on to the fourth fret. Then I'm gonna play it open again, and I'm gonna hammer on with my first finger to the fourth fret, and then my second finger to hammer on to the fifth fret like this. And then I'm gonna play it open and hammer on to five and seven with my first and third finger. And then I'm gonna play it open and hammer on to seven and nine with my first and third. 
And then I'm going to hammer on to nine and 11 with my first and third. And then I'm gonna use my second and third this time to do 11 and 12. And then you reverse it to come back down. You're doing pull-offs, 11 and 12 to open. 9 and 11, 9 and 7, 7 and 5, 5 and 4, 4 and 2. So all together, you're going to get... All right, now for this one with a metronome, I've set my metronome to play triplet. So I'm playing three notes per beat, and I set it to click high on the beat, but it's playing all three notes. So that'll sound like this. Two, three, four. So we're going one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. And that helps me divide that beat into three even notes, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I've got it set for 50 beats per minute, and I'm going to do this up and down for exercise number three using triplets to make sure that my hammer-ons and pull-offs are actually in time. Two, three, go. is exercise number three. Again, once you get comfortable with it, speed it up. Try out different combinations of fingers too. You could do your second and fourth for the ones that are a whole step apart. Do your second and third or your third and fourth for the ones that are half step apart. Okay, so you can mess around with that, try different fingerings, but I like that one because you can actually get pretty musical with it. Now let's go on to number four. This is my favorite one out of all of these, and there's actually a lot of use for this exercise in like solos and stuff. I first uh, actually encountered this idea in a guitar solo uh, from Monsters by Matchbook Romance. And you can do this again, we're doing this with the major scale, just up and down the scale on one string. But what you can do is you can do this with the minor scale or the Dorian or the Phrygian or whatever you want to do, okay? It doesn't matter. We're just using major today. I'm pretty sure that in Monsters, they're using the minor scale up and down on the B string, but we're gonna use this idea on the sixth string using the E major scale. Now this one is really cool because what we're gonna do is we're going to combine our hammer-ons and our pull-offs, but we're instead of going up with hammer-ons and coming back down with pull-offs, what we're going to do is we're gonna do it up and down as we go up the scale. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play my E string open and then I'm gonna hammer on to two and four and pull off from four to two back to open. So it's actually a five note group, but I'm playing triplets for this. So that's it, I'm just hammering on. I'm only picking that open E string. Then I'm gonna do it on the next set. So four and five. Five and seven. Seven and nine. Nine, eleven. And eleven and twelve. So let's do this again with the metronome. And again, you can do this on any string and use different combinations of fingers. That's cool. But just starting out with this, we're gonna do 50 beats per minute doing triplets again, just like we did for exercise three. One, two, three, go. I didn't put it in the tab, but you could do that going down as well, where you're going. I really like that one, it's really cool. And again, you this is a great way to learn your scales on single strings, whether wh whatever scale it is. And it's a great way to sound musical doing it. And so you can also try throwing that into your own solos, right? Okay, now exercise number five. This is where a lot of people will start with their practicing hammer-ons and pull-offs 
And I think that there's more value to be gained doing it from your open strings and doing it to different fretted notes and starting that way, because this way is a little harder because we're not going to use open strings for this. We're gonna just use a known scale shape. Now, to make this easy, we're gonna use your A minor pentatonic scale that everybody knows. That's five, eight, five, seven, five, seven, five, seven, five, eight, five, eight. And then coming back down, same thing, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're going to pick the first note with your first fret, first finger on your, sorry, with your first finger on the fifth fret, and then you're gonna use your pinky to hammer onto eight. You could use your third finger as well. But again, don't skip pinky day, okay? And then on the fifth string, we're gonna play five and hammer onto seven. Jeez. Oh, and then on the fourth string, five and seven. Third string, five and seven. And then five and eight on your second string. And then five and eight on your first. And then you reverse it, you pull off from eight to five. And then eight to five again. Seven to five. Seven to five. Seven to five. And eight and five. Then you combine it and you put it all together like this. Okay, now to practice this one with a metronome, I'm doing eighth notes. So I've set my metronome to play eighth notes. I've got a different tone on each beat. I've still got the highest pitch on beat one, just to make it easy, okay? But I've got it set for 70 beats per minute, doing eighth notes, and that's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, go. <laughs> So here's the trick. We just used that one scale today, the minor pentatonic scale, but you can do this with any scale that you know. You can do it with any other minor pentatonic shape that you may know. You can do it with three note per string scales. You can do it with your standard scales, whatever you wanna do, it's the same idea. So if I were doing this with an A major three note per string scale, it would just be hammering on with my second finger and pinky. And then my third finger and pinky and then pulling off. Same idea, but you can take any scale that you know and start practicing it by doing hammer-ons and pull-offs to play it. So there's five exercises that any beginner can use to start practicing your hammer-ons and pull-offs and building up your finger strength so that you can execute that really well. I hope that helps you out. If you have questions about any of those exercises, let me know down in the comments. Now you can get the tab for all five of these exercises. If you want it, just go to simpleguitar.com slash H-O-P-O, hammer-on, pull-off, H-O-P-O, ho-po, right? <laughs> but I have another gift for you as well. If you go to simpleguitar.com slash top 10 or simpleguitar.com slash H-O-P-O, you can sign up for it there too. I have a gift for you called the top 10 things to learn on guitar first. And those 10 things are things that I teach beginners all the time to get more bang for their buck out of their playing, to help them be more musical a lot faster. So go to simpleguitar.com slash top 10. It's totally yours, it's totally practical. You can start using the stuff in that right away and start making some real music. Music. So go get that as well as your tab for these hammer on and pull off exercises at simpleguitar.com slash H-O-P-O. You can actually get both of those. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions, but otherwise go check out this video right here about how you can get better with your vibrato, which is another great phrasing element that everybody should work on. And I'll see you in the next video.